Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Today we're diving into a profound and transformative topic, the power of prayer. Before we begin our spiritual journey, I'd like to ask for your help in strengthening our community. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button right now. Your participation is crucial for us to continue sharing these messages of faith and hope. Also, don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Your interaction motivates us and enriches our conversation. In this message, we'll explore how prayer can revolutionize our lives, bringing peace amidst storms and strengthening our connection with our Heavenly Father. Our biblical foundation for today is found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, which tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. These powerful words from the Apostle Paul invite us on a journey of transformation through prayer. Let's unpack this verse together and discover how we can apply it to our daily lives. First, let's reflect on the nature of anxiety in our modern society. We live in a fast-paced world, full of uncertainties and constant pressures. Stress has become almost the norm, affecting our physical and emotional health. Many of us carry heavy burdens, worries about the future, financial problems, complicated relationships, or professional challenges. It's as if we're on an emotional roller coaster, going up and down without control. Anxiety can manifest in various ways in our lives. For some, it's a constant feeling of restlessness, as if something bad is about to happen. For others, it manifests in physical symptoms like insomnia, heart palpitations, or headaches. Some may experience panic attacks or specific phobias. Regardless of how it presents itself, anxiety has the power to rob us of our peace and joy, preventing us from fully living the abundant life that Christ promised. But here comes a light of hope. Paul offers us a powerful alternative prayer. He doesn't suggest that we ignore our worries or pretend they don't exist. On the contrary, he invites us to bring these concerns directly to the throne of grace. Imagine entering the presence of the King of Kings, the creator of the universe, with all your problems. What an incredible privilege. Prayer is not just a religious ritual or a list of requests. It's an intimate dialogue with our Heavenly Father. When we pray, we're acknowledging our dependence on God and trusting that He has the power to intervene in our circumstances. It's like opening the windows of the soul, allowing divine light to illuminate even the darkest corners of our hearts. He adds a crucial element, thanksgiving. How often do we approach God with just a list of complaints and requests? Gratitude completely changes the atmosphere of our prayers. When we give thanks, we're acknowledging God's goodness in our lives, even amid difficulties. It's like lighting a candle in the darkness, illuminating our path and reminding us of the blessings we've already received. Gratitude has the power to transform our perspective. Even in the midst of trials, we can find reasons to be thankful. Maybe it's the support of a friend, a lesson learned, or simply the fact that we're alive and breathing. By cultivating a grateful heart, we're creating fertile soil for God's peace to flourish in our lives. Now, let's address the promised result of this prayer practice. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. What an extraordinary promise. Note that it's not a common peace, but a peace that transcends all understanding. It's a supernatural tranquility that defies human logic. Think of times in your life when you faced seemingly impossible circumstances. Maybe a scary medical diagnosis, a financial crisis, or a family conflict that seemed to have no solution. God's peace is capable of enveloping us even in these situations, like a warm blanket on a cold night. It's not that problems magically disappear, but we gain a different perspective, an unshakable confidence that God is in control. This peace acts as a guard, 
protecting our hearts and minds. In a world full of negative influences and destructive thoughts, we need this divine protection. God's peace is like an invisible shield, repelling the arrows of doubt, fear, and anxiety that the enemy throws at us. But how can we experience this peace in our daily lives? The key is in the consistent practice of prayer. It's not just about isolated moments of communication with God, but about cultivating an attitude of constant prayer. The Apostle Paul, in another passage, exhorts us to pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 to 17. This means maintaining an ongoing dialogue with God throughout the day. Imagine transforming your daily activities into moments of prayer. While driving to work, you can thank God for another day of life. When facing a challenge at the office, you can silently ask for wisdom. When you meet someone in difficulty, you can offer an intercessory prayer. In this way, prayer becomes a lifestyle, not just an occasional event. The Bible is full of examples of people who experienced the transformative power of prayer. Think of Hannah, who in her anguish over not having children, poured out her soul before the Lord. Her fervent prayer not only resulted in the birth of Samuel, but also in a song of praise that echoes through the centuries. 1 Samuel 1-2 Hannah teaches us that we can be completely honest with God in our prayers, expressing our deepest emotions. Or consider King Hezekiah, who upon receiving a death sentence, turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. As a result, God not only healed his illness, but also added 15 years to his life. 2 Kings 20,000-1-6 Hezekiah's story reminds us that no situation is too desperate for God. He has the power to change not only our perspective, but also our circumstances. Think also of Daniel, who maintained his prayer practice even in the face of the threat of death. His faithfulness in prayer not only protected him in the lion's den, but also led a pagan king to recognize the true God, Daniel 6. Daniel's example challenges us to be courageous and consistent in our prayer life, even when facing opposition. However, it's important to remember that prayer is not a magic formula to get everything we want. Sometimes, God's answer may be different from what we expect. The Apostle Paul himself prayed three times for God to remove his thorn in the flesh, but the answer was, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. This experience teaches us that prayer doesn't always change our circumstances, but it always has the power to change us. Prayer also connects us with the community of faith. When we pray for each other, we strengthen the bonds of love and compassion. Jesus taught us to pray our Father, not my Father, reminding us that we are part of a larger spiritual family. There's special power in collective prayer. As it is written in Matthew 18, 20, For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. As we cultivate a life of prayer, we also develop a greater sensitivity to God's voice. Often we're so busy talking in our prayers that we forget to listen. Prayer is not a monologue, but a dialogue. God speaks to us through His Word, circumstances, other people, and sometimes through that still, small voice in our hearts. Learning to listen is as important as learning to speak in our prayers. How can we learn to hear God's voice? First, we need to create spaces of silence in our lives. In a world full of noise and distractions, silence can be uncomfortable at first, but it's in silence that we often hear God most clearly. Start by setting aside a few minutes a day to simply be quiet in God's presence, with your heart open to receive what He wants to communicate. Prayer also has the power to transform our perspective on suffering. When we face difficulties, our natural tendency is to want to escape them as quickly as possible. However, through prayer, we can find purpose even in our most difficult moments. The Apostle James encourages us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. James 1, 2, 3. Prayer helps us see our trials not as obstacles, but as opportunities for spiritual growth. When we pray in the midst of suffering, we are following Jesus' example. 
In the Garden of Gethsemane, facing the cross, Jesus prayed fervently. His prayer did not remove the suffering that was to come, but it strengthened him to face it. Similarly, our prayer in difficult times can give us the strength and courage we need to persevere. Another powerful aspect of prayer is its ability to free us from the weight of guilt and sin. Through sincere confession, we experience the forgiveness and cleansing promised in 1 John 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Prayer thus becomes a channel of restoration, allowing us to experience God's renewing grace in our lives. Confession in prayer is not just about listing our failures, but about recognizing our ongoing need for God's grace. It's an act of humility that puts us in the right position before God, not as perfect people, but as beloved children who constantly depend on the Father's love and forgiveness. Prayer also has a profound impact on our worship. When we spend time in God's presence, we are naturally led to a state of reverence and awe. Our prayers turn into praises, and our hearts are filled with gratitude for God's greatness and goodness. As the psalmist wrote, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 100-4 Worship through prayer reminds us of who God is and who we are in relation to him. It puts our concerns in perspective, reminding us that we serve an all-powerful, loving, and faithful God. When we worship, we are declaring God's sovereignty over all areas of our lives. As we grow in our prayer life, we also grow in our understanding of God's will. Jesus taught us to pray your will be done, Matthew 6 or 10. Through constant prayer, our wills begin to align with God's will. We find that our desires change and we begin to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Matthew 6, 33. Aligning our will with God's is not an easy or instant process. It often involves internal struggles and surrender. But as we persist in prayer, we begin to see things from God's perspective. Our priorities change, and we find deep satisfaction in doing God's will, even when it differs from our original plans. Prayer also equips us for service and ministry. Before beginning his public ministry, Jesus spent 40 days in prayer and fasting in the wilderness, Matthew 4, 1-2. Before choosing the twelve apostles, he spent the night in prayer, Luke 6 or 12. These examples show us that prayer is essential for discerning God's direction and preparing us for the tasks he has for us. When we commit to a life of prayer, we find that we are better equipped to face the challenges of ministry and Christian service. Prayer keeps us connected to the source of all wisdom and power, allowing us to serve not in our own strength, but in the strength that God provides. An often neglected aspect of prayer is its power to protect us spiritually. Paul exhorts us to pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests as part of the spiritual armor, Ephesians 6.18. Prayer keeps us vigilant against the enemy's temptations and strategies, strengthening our spiritual resistance. When we pray, we are actively participating in the spiritual battle that is happening around us. Through prayer, we can resist the enemy's lies, break spiritual strongholds, and experience the deliverance that Christ won for us on the cross. Prayer is our direct line of communication with the Commander-in-Chief in this spiritual warfare. As we practice prayer regularly, we also develop patience and perseverance. We don't always receive immediate answers to our prayers, but that doesn't mean God isn't listening. As Jesus taught in the parable of the persistent widow, we should pray with perseverance, trusting in God's perfect timing. Perseverance in prayer is not just about repeating the same requests incessantly, it's about maintaining an attitude of trust and expectation, even when answers seem to be delayed. It's about continuing to seek God's face, not just His hand. And it's about remaining faithful in prayer, even when we don't see immediate results. Prayer also has the power to bring healing, not just physical, but emotional and spiritual. 
James tells us, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. How many testimonies have we heard of people who experienced miraculous healing through prayer? Even when physical healing doesn't occur, prayer brings comfort, peace and strength to face health challenges. It's important to remember that God is sovereign in His decision to heal. Sometimes, healing comes instantly in response to prayer. Other times, God uses medical means to bring healing. And there are times when the healing we seek doesn't come in the way we expect. In these moments, prayer becomes a means of finding God's sufficient grace for each day, as Paul discovered with his thorn in the flesh. One of the most beautiful aspects of prayer is its ability to bring us closer to each other. When we pray for someone, our hearts open to their needs and struggles. We develop empathy and compassion, reflecting Christ's love in our relationships. Intercessory prayer reminds us that we are part of a larger body, called to bear one another's burdens. Interceding for others is not just a Christian responsibility, but a privilege. Through prayer, we can impact lives and situations that are beyond our physical reach. We can stand alongside missionaries in distant fields, comfort the persecuted, and support leaders in positions of authority, all through the power of intercessory prayer. Prayer also has the power to bring revival and transformation to our communities and nations. Think of the great revivals in history. They almost always started with groups of people committed to fervent prayer. When we pray for our nation, we are actively participating in shaping its spiritual destiny. Another important aspect of prayer is its role in helping us discern God's will for our lives. Often we find ourselves at crossroads, unsure which path to take. Constant and sincere prayer tunes us into God's voice, allowing us to recognize His direction. As it is written in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Prayer also plays a crucial role in our growth in holiness. The more time we spend in God's presence, the more we become like Him. Prayer exposes us to the light of His holiness, revealing areas in our lives that need transformation. At the same time, it connects us with the grace and power needed for that transformation. It is in the intimacy of prayer that we experience God's transforming love most deeply. As the psalmist says, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. Psalm 27 verse 4. This intimacy with God is the heart of the Christian life, and prayer is the means by which we cultivate it. Prayer also helps us maintain the right perspective in times of success and prosperity. It's easy to become self-confident and forget our dependence on God when things are going well. Regular prayer keeps us humble, reminding us that every good gift comes from God, James 1 verse 17. In moments of victory, prayer helps us give glory to God and use our blessings for His kingdom. As we approach the end of our message, I want to encourage you to make prayer a priority in your lives. Don't see it as a religious duty, but as an incredible privilege to communicate with the Creator of the universe. Start each day with a moment of prayer inviting God to guide your steps, and each night thanking Him for His blessings and protection. Remember, prayer doesn't need to be elaborate or eloquent. God is more interested in the sincerity of our hearts than in the eloquence of our words. Be authentic in your prayers, sharing your joys, fears, doubts, and hopes with your Heavenly Father. I challenge you to establish a prayer corner in your home a special place where you can regularly retreat to be in God's presence. It could be a corner of your bedroom, a comfortable chair in the living room, or even a bench in the garden. The important thing is to have a dedicated place for meeting with God. Also consider keeping a prayer journal. Write down your requests, reflections, and the answers you receive. Over time, you'll see a tangible record of God's faithfulness in your life which will further strengthen your faith. Finally, remember that prayer is not just for moments of crisis. It's a lifestyle, 
an ongoing conversation with God that permeates every aspect of our existence. In the words of the famous author C.S. Lewis, I pray because I can't help myself. I pray because I'm helpless. I pray because the need flows from me all the time, waking and sleeping. It doesn't change God, it changes me. May we as a community of faith rediscover the transforming power of prayer in our lives. May it be the foundation of our walk with Christ, the source of our peace in turbulent times, and the channel through which we daily experience God's love and grace. Dear friends, as we conclude this message about the transforming power of prayer, I want to thank you for dedicating your time to this important reflection. Remember that each prayer, no matter how small it may seem, has the potential to move God's heart and transform lives. Keep seeking God's face in prayer, confident that He hears and answers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting messages like this one. Leave your comments sharing how prayer has impacted your lives. Your experience can be a source of encouragement for others. And if this video touched your heart, please share it with friends and family who might be blessed by this message. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Until the next video, stay strong in faith and persevere in prayer. God bless you.